डॉक्टर नमस्कार दोस्तों मैंने सोचा है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट के निर्णय जो डेली बेसिस पर आ रहे हैं उसमें से कुछ ऐसे महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय छांट करके आपके सामने प्रस्तुत करो जो आपकी जिंदगी के लिए आपके समाज के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होते हैं इसी कड़ी में मैं आज एक ऐसा निर्णय आपके पास में लेकर के आया हूं जिसमें सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने एक अलग ही सिद्धांत स्थापित किया है और वो सिद्धांत बोलता है कि जो इनोसेंस का प्रजम्शन है कि एक व्यक्ति बेकसूर है इसकी जो अवधारणा है ये ह्यूमन राइट है प्रजम्शन ऑफ इनोसेंस इज ह्यूमन राइट ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोला है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने आगे बोला है कि जिंदगी लाइफ और स्वतंत्रता ये ऐसे अवयव हैं सोसाइटी के जिनको कोई भी संस्था इंक्लूडिंग सुप्रीम कोर्ट जिनका गला घोट नहीं सकता ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोला अब मैं आपको बिना देरी किए हुए सुप्रीम कोर्ट के उस जजमेंट की तरफ लेके चलता हूं कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने क्या बोला है और मैं पढ़कर के रेलिवेंट पैरा पढ़कर के आपको समझाने की कोशिश करूंगा कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने क्या कहा है तो चलते हैं दोस्तों ये जजमेंट है वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट का और ये जजमेंट रिपोर्टेबल है मैं आपको जजमेंट की कॉपी दिखा करके ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि जजमेंट ऐसे भी होते हैं क्यों नॉन रिपोर्टेबल होते हैं आप इसको ऑल इंडिया रिपोर्टर और एससीसी और जितने भी जर्नल हैं लॉ जर्नल हैं वो इसको रिपोर्ट करेंगे इसमें क्या है सुरेश थिम्पा सेट्टी अपलेंट है और सदाशिव सेना सैलियम ये दोनों अपलेंट है और स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र जो है इसमें रिस्पॉन्डेंट यानी कि ये महाराष्ट्र केस का इस जजमेंट को लिखा है असानुद्दीन अमन उल्ला ने जो अभी कुछ दिनों पहले तक इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट के जज थे अब मैं पैरा पैर ये ये नॉर्मल पैरा है इसमें पैरा पैरा जो हार्ड प्रोनाउंसिफाते यहां पर ए फोर वेर बाई द हाई कोर्ट डिसमिस अपील फाइल बाई द अपलेंट हियरिंग एंड अपील द कन्विक्शन ऑर्डर पास बाई द सेक्शन कोर्ट द स्टेट अपील अगेन द एक्टल ऑफ फोर दैट इज ए वन ये एक्यूज है एक्यूज नंबर वन एक्यूज नंबर फाइव एक्यूज नंबर सिक्स दिस वॉज ऑल्सो दिस अवे वॉट डिसमिस बाई द इम्प्यून जजमेंट अब ये फैक्चुअल प्रिज्म लिखते हैं देखिए फैक्चुअल ये हर एक जज का अपना एक स्टाइल होता है जजमेंट लिखने का तो जो जो हैं वो फैक्चुअल लिख रहे हैं पुट रेलेवेंट डिटेल ऑफ़ द स्टोरी रन दिस इट इज नॉट दिन करके बोल रहे बोल रहा है कि ए वन ए टू ए सेवन वर इन कोलाबा पुलिस स्टेशन लॉकअप फ्रॉम 23 to this, the the allegation is that they enter into democracy between the period from this to this to abduct and murder Mahendra Pratap Singh. Here I refer to as the deceased Mahendra Pratap Singh का इन लोगों ने मर्डर किया था उसके लिए प्रिंसिपल क्रिमिनल कॉन्स्पिरेसी में तेईस नौ नौ चौरानबे से लेकर के बारह पांच दो हजार पंचानबे तक ये लगे थे 
बारह पांच पंचानबे बिकेम द पेट्रोल डे वन शारदा प्रसाद सिंह का बिजनेस मैन इज स्टेटेड टू बी इन द पेट्रोलियम बिजनेस हिज ऑफिस वॉज लोकेटेड एट एक्सप्रेस हाईवे नियर द रीजनल ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफिस घाटकोपर ही हैज फाइव सन दे वर कैरिंग आउट द बिजनेस जॉइंटली वन ऑफ द सन ऑफ द सेड शारदा प्रताप सिंह वॉज द डिसीज द प्रोसिक्यूशन स्टेट दैट ए वन एंड ए सेवन हु रियल ब्रदर्स रनिंग सरोज पेट्रोकेमिकल लिमिटेड एज as also a transport business had a business rivalry with the deceased and thus conspired to abduct and murder him there head office was at chembur and they used to manufacture thinner and solvent and thana ye bol rahe hain witness ki baat kar raha hai pw2 means prosecution witness 2 was a rickshaw driver accused to book his rickshaw for going to jawaharlal nehru port trust accused two and accused three came to a hotel or two hotel garden they asked pw to witness to take the rickshaw in the highway thereafter they changed direction and got down and selected a spot for the assassination of deceased and returned to the hotel on 12/5/95 pw1 abhi yahan par witness one as usual had been to his business at abc the deceased informed him that one person he expected from bangalore with money and they would go to navi mein then both in maruti then both in a maruti 1000 vehicle driven by the deceased reached driven by the deceased reached hotel garden panvel at about 7:30 they parked their vehicle at the parking lot after inquiring with the receptionist they went to the first floor and entered room number 106 where a3 was inside an inquiry by the deceased a3 informed that as the air condition was not working said g the person who the deceased had come to meet had gone to hotel welcome there after a3 try to contact said g by the telephone intercom but was unable to then a3 left the room to call said g after about 5 minute he returned and informed said g was expected at hotel garden itself thereafter the assassin shooter who was contacted came and informed the said g had gone to a farm house and the deceased and others were called there four person got into the maruti 1000 being one the deceased two pw1 three assassin shooter and four a3 and proceeded to the farm house a3 and the shooter assassin got the car being driven by the deceased stopped at a location stood out and later a3 and the assassin shooter again got back in the car and shooter assassin killed the deceased it is alleged that a2 accused to on the side had already booked the maruti van to proceed to panvel from a travel agency further that a4 and a3 and a2 proceeded in maruti van driven by pw7 to garden hotel accused for it is alleged had with two other visited the site of occurrence prior to the incident by hiring rickshaw pw3 ranjan shankar behra the hotel receptionist had identified a4 being the hotel room with a3 and m first information report namely crime number so and so was lodged on 13th investigation commenced and culminated in charges against 10 person three were discharged and seven is to trial table is estimation of the assault conviction granted by the session court on 27/11/2002 is approved mujhe nahi karna hai iske baad agree by the order dated remanded by the session for the present applied a4 and a2 a3 and a state maharashtra preferred separate appeal before the high court as noted we have the impugn judgment dismissed all the appeal in the meantime a3 passed away agree now on account of impugn judgment the applied had preferred the instant appeal before this court ye iska fact hai ab ye submission bol rahe hain abhi main submission ke bare mein nahi padhunga ki submission se acha to ye hai ki inka jo court ne apna view liya hai usko dekhte hain kya bol rahe hain ye respondent ka submission hai ab yahan pe dekhiye yahan pe analysis reasoning and conclusion the high court relied on the judgment of a three judge bench in nur muhammad Yusuf Mumin versus State of Maharashtra AI 9 to hear the criminal case can be proved by circumstantial evidence and a careful appraisal of this while in agreement with the law laid down we are not able to see how the 
constitution case is strengthened with its aid. Nur Muhammad does not in any manner militate against this court overturning over turning a conviction when reasonable doubt emanates. The court of Nitra of Sayak to lay a state of Uttar Pradesh versus Krishna Gopal 1988 Kibarkara. A person has no doubt a profound right not to be convicted of an offense which is not established by the evidential standard of proof beyond reasonable doubt. Though this standard is a higher is a higher standard, there is however no absolute standard. What degree of probability amount to proof is an exercise particularly to each case? Referring to the interdependence of evidence and the confirmation of one piece of evidence by another, a learned author says, see the mathematics of proof taken. Glanville Williams Criminal Law Review by Sweet and Maxwell. The simple multiplication rule does not apply if the separate pieces of evidence are dependent. Two evidence are dependent when they tend to occur together and the evidence of such events may also be said to be dependent. In a similar case, different pieces of evidence directed to demonstrating that the dependent did not did the prohibited act with the specified state of mind are generally dependent. A user may feel doubt whether to credit an alleged confession and doubt whether and doubt whether to interpret guilt from the fact that the defendant filed from this fled from justice. But since it is generally guilty rather than innocent people who make confessions and guilty rather than innocent people who run away. The two doubts are to be multiplied together. The one piece of evidence may confirm the other. Okay, but the doubt would be called reasonable if they are free from a jest of abstract speculation. Allah cannot afford any favorite, <coughs> favorite other than truth. To constitute reasonable doubt, it must be free from an over-emotional response. Doubt must be actual and substantial doubt as to the guilt of the accused person arising from the evidence or from the lack of it, as opposed to more weight apprehension. A reasonable doubt is not an imaginary trivial, a merely possible doubt, but a fair doubt based upon reason and common sense. It must grow out of the evidence in the case. The concept of probability and the degrees of it cannot obviously be expressed in terms of unit to be mathematically enumerated as to how many of such units constitute proof beyond reasonable doubt. There is an unmistakable subjective element in the evaluation of degrees of probability and the quantum of proof. For instance, probability must, in the last analysis, rest on robust common sense and ultimately on the trained intuition of the judge, while the protection given by the criminal process to the accused person is not to be eroded. At the same time, uninformed legitimization of the our civilization would make a mockery of administration and criminal justice. The principle of Krishna Gopal was reiterated in the state of Madhya Pradesh. On the above anvil, the prosecution rule does not inspire confidence to enable substance or the impugned conviction. Insofar as relevance praised by learned, senior, uh, learned counsel for the state on the judgment of Firojuddin Basiruddin is concerned. This court could only observe that the same incalculated, a different factual scenario. The main person responsible for the death of the deceased is that in that case were convicted. As in the present case, the prosecution story main conspirator stand acquitted. This is very important. This is one stark difference in the foundation fact of the said case and the present one. But this is sufficient to safely conclude that Firojuddin could not apply to the case at hand. Recently, this case, this quote in Sanjay Dube versus State of Madhya Pradesh, restarted, restated the deposition that is no longer rest at the graph. It is too well accepted that judgments are not to be read as you'll clip theorem. 
they are not to be construed as a statue and specific cases are authorities only for what they actually decide. We do not want to be verbose in reproducing the relevant paragraphs, but deem it proper to indicate some authorities on this point. Supreme Court क्या बोल रहा है कि हर जजमेंट जो होता है वो अपने फैक्ट पर होता है और उस फैक्ट को आप दूसरे केस में लगा नहीं सकते वो जजमेंट जो है वो जज उन फैक्ट एंड सर्कमस्टांसेस और आर्गुमेंट के ऊपर देता है जो उसके सामने प्रेजेंट होते हैं फिर कोर्ट आगे और कुछ जजमेंट रेफर कर रहा है हैविंग कंसीडर द मैटर इन एक्सटेंसो ये देखिए ये लीगल लैंग्वेज है इन एक्सटेंसो viewers i am running this youtube channel as an advocate so i heavily rely on legal terminology social social geopolitics ke bare mein main baat karta hu wo baat alag hai but my main trust is on legal agar mera hindustan ka nagrik लीगली साउंड हो जाएगा तो उसको पुलिस या इस तरह की तो कोई भी एजेंसी एक्सप्लोइ नहीं कर सकती वो मेरा मकसद है तो मैं इन वर्ड के ऊपर थोड़ा ज्यादा ध्यान देता हूँ कि जिसको कोर्ट नॉर्मली यूज करता है और जिसको पब्लिक समझ नहीं पाती मतलब हैविंग कंसीडर द मैटर इन एक्सेंस ऑफ मतलब इन डिटेल एक्सेंस ऑफ मतलब डिटेल including yamne of the fact and applicable law we are of the clear view that sufficient material is available on record which has come out during the trial giving rise to reasonable doubt as to the involvement of perpetrator in the crime ye dekhiye bahut important sentence the plan had been made have been able to poke holes in the testimony of p1 p2 and P3. Our conclusion is only perpetrated as A1 and A7 have been acquitted, and thus the conspiracy angle. Behold the said main conspirator. आपने main conspirator को छोड़ दिया. So वही conspiracy. Who were the master mind as per the process cannot be said to have been proved beyond reasonable doubt. Moreover, no alternative theory qua conspiracy has been suggested. जो पहली वाली कॉन्स्पिरेसी चली गई जो दूसरी कॉन्स्पिरेसी आप लेकर के नहीं आए मच लेस प्रूव बाय द प्रोसिक्यूशन नेचुरली द फोर पर्सन इन द कार ऑन द फेटफुल डेट वर द डिसीज पीडब्ल्यू 1 एसलेंट शूटर एंड हु इज रिस्पोंडिंग एसलेंट शूटर हु इज रिस्पोंडिंग एंड 4 ए3 इन द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द एडमिटेड पोजीशन दैट द अपलेंट वर नॉट प्रेजेंट एट द स्पॉट वेयर द क्राइम वाज कमिटेड दैट इज इन द कार नॉट any direct explicit role in commission of the offense being attributed to them their conviction cannot be upheld to bichare gaadi mein the hi nahi aur aapne main transport ko chhod diya to conspiracy rahi ka on a deeper and fundamental level when this court is confronted with a situation where it has to ponder whether to lean with prosecution or the defense in the face of reasonable doubt as to the version but put forth by the prosecution this court will as a matter of course of choice in line with judicial discretion lean in favor of the defense put <coughs> again bol raha hai we have got in mind the cardinal principle that life and liberty we were please note Life and liberty are matter to be trifled with, and the conviction can only be sustained in the absence of can only be sustained in the absence of reasonable doubt. The presumption of innocence in favor of accused and insistence of prosecution to prove the other are not, not empty formalities; rather, they are originally traceable to Article Twenty One Point Forty of the Constitution of India. Of course, the For certain offences, law seeks to place a reverse onus on the accused to prove his or her innocence. Look here. Although in the context of bare jurisprudence, for a working idea as to what judicial discretion entails, pursue, peruse the views of learned single judge sitting in judge judges in chamber 
आप दिस कोर्ट इन बेलकानी दिस वन सुपर से बोल रहे हैं अच्छा but that does not impact adversely the innocent till proven guilty rule for other criminal offences in coffee versus in united state 156 us 432 the justice supreme court held principle that there is a presumption of innocence in favor of the accused is is the doubted law axiomic and elementary and its enforcement lies at the foundation of the administration of our criminal law we see no clarity with the force and pattern as the same applies to all uh, to our all force to our criminal justice system the presumption of innocence is also human right for the pronouncement in arendel singh versus state of madhya pradesh 2004 in ranjit singh brahmajit singh sharma state of maharashtra five a three judge bench of this court at paragraph 35 and of liberty of person should not be interfered with until there exists cognizant ground there for accordingly for the reason of course we should these appeals stand allow the appellants are discharged from the liability of their bail bonds if any fine pursuant to the order of the session court i got a dis- were deposited by the by realize from their appeal they shall be entitled to refund ye vikram nath ye bhi allahabad high court ke judge chief justice the mere kal baad gujarat mein gaye the aur ye ahsan uddin amanullah sahab to dosto ye ek aisa judgment hai jo jurisprudence mein legal battle mein bahut zyada kaam aane wala agar aapko lagta hai ki ye judgment kaam aane wala hai to kam se kam iski copy rakh lijiye और समय समय पर मौका मिले तो इसको पढ़ते रहिए ये आपको बहुत काम आएगा तो इन शब्दों के साथ मैं अपनी वाणी को विराम देता हूं मिलते हैं अगले अंक में किसी और मुद्दे के साथ तब तक के लिए जय हिंद नमस्कार 